welcome to our channel okay now our video special for maths grade 3 okay apa kabar anak-anak teacher harapannya kita tetap dalam keadaan sehat-sehat saja ya nah sebelum kita memulai pembelajaran kita hari ini teacher Eva ingin mengumumkan nama anak-anak yang berhasil menjawab kuis di video match kita sebelumnya penasaran siapa-siapa saja oke okay, the star student wah ada yang sudah cakdik ya inilah dia the star student in the match quiz review very mudah yes good job untuk anak-anak teacher yang sudah berhasil menjawab dengan benar dan Special, inilah tiga nama anak tercepat yang menjawab dengan benar. Ada Vienna, Kenjo, dan Emmanuel. Wah, ayo anak-anak teacher yang lain yang belum berhasil menjawab. Ingat, jangan patah semangat, terus berusaha, dan jangan malu untuk mencoba. Apalagi malas untuk mencoba, oke? Okay? Baiklah anak-anak di Cereva, kita akan mulai video pembelajaran kita hari ini. In our last match video, we learned that the space around of a seat called perimeter. Okay, you can see. And then, in this video, we are going to learn about area. The first, we will learn about area in square units. To help you understand what area it is, let's know that one shape that's for one square unit or one unit long. Now, let's draw a shape. Okay, you can see. And then, we color all the space or surface. All the Page or surface that we cover along the way or the space inside of the sea is the area of the sea yeah anak-anak teacher so we can say that area is the space inside of the sea but how much area the sea has how do we measure the area of the sea Okay, students, to find the area, we can count the number of unit squares need to cover inside the surface. Let's count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, this figure covers a surface of 16 square units. So, the area of this figure is 16 square units. And the other way, we can find the area by multiplying its two side dimensions together for square or rectangle. Or, we usually call that's length and breadth or width okay my students let's count one two three four yes there are four units going across or we can say that's length of the sea and then there are one two three four there are four units coming down, or we can say that's bridge side of the sea. So by multiplying length times breadth equal four times four, because the length is four and the breadth is four, so four times four equal sixteen. So the area of this figure is sixteen square units. All right. So that gives you a good idea of what area is. Okay, good job. Let's practice, students. What is the area of this figure? 
Okay, remember, one square that's for one square unit. Now let's start to count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, there are nine square units. And then you can see there are two half square or you can see maybe that's like a triangle. Is it right? Okay. One triangle for this figure or one half square that's for half square square unit. Okay, we can see that there are two half square units. So two half square units equal one square unit. Now to find the area we can add up them nine square units plus one square units equal to ten square units. So the area of this figure is 10 square units. Okay, my students, next we will learn about area in square centimeter and square meter. Look at this shape, please. Each side of the square is 1 centimeter. Its area is 1 square centimeter. The square centimeter is a unit of area. We write centimeter and then we can put two above four square centimeter. You can see. And then how about this shape? Yes, each side of this shape or the square is one meter. Its area is one square meter. The square meter is another unit of area. It's used to measure bigger areas. So you have to know that centimeter is smaller than meter or meter is bigger than centimeter. We write meters and put to above for square meter. Okay, example. This is the area of figure A. Bisa anak-anak teacher? Okay, students. The first, you can count the number of unit squares inside the city. One, two, three, four, five, six. Figure A is made up of six one centimeter square. The area of a one centimeter square is one square centimeter. So. The area of this figure is 6 square centimeter. Okay. Or we can find the area by multiplying. We count together 1, 2, 3. There are 3. What? Yes, 3 centimeter square for the length and 1, 2, for the bread side. So, length is 3 cm, bread is 2 cm, so the area is length times bread equal 3 times 2 equal 6 square cm. Okay, my students, let's practice now. Find the area of this figure. Okay, I will give you time to find it, my students. Okay, time is over. You can see. The first step, you have to multiply the length. Length, remember, length is longer side. And breadth is shorter side. And the length of this shape is x centimeters, and breadth of the shape or this rectangle is five centimeters. So the area of a rect of this rectangle is length times breadth equal eight times five equal forty square centimeter. Okay, my students, sudah mengerti? 
if you understand about this about our topic today okay good job now it's time for quiz today find the areas of the following figures okay there are two questions you have to find the area from the rectangle the first rectangle and then the second rectangle okay ingat anak-anak teacher jangan takut untuk mencoba dan silahkan jawab quiz kita hari ini dengan komen di bawah video kita ini ya anak-anak teacher oke okay, demikian pembelajaran kita untuk hari ini sampai bertemu di video selanjutnya ya selalu jaga kesehatan dan tetap setia berdoa God bless you